Hello and welcome to the car repair hub once again. This morning we'll be doing injector coding using the things car scan. That's the, the newest one. So I'll be showing you how we do it and how we go about it. Stay tuned. Let's go straight into the video. So this is the tool we'll be using. And it comes with a dongle. I've been using it for a while now. It's pretty good and let's use it for this injector code and let's see whether it will be able to do it. So these are the injectors we'll be installing from Denso. The original one too is from Denso. This one we are replacing them because of cool for uh, contamination. We just want to put in new ones so that everything will be okay with this car. So these are our new parts. We have four of them. So we'll be changing the IDs, the injector IDs. And that's what we are basically here to do this morning. So let's start. So we start by plugging one, taking the ID of one. It's easy when you take a picture of it so that you can have it and input it into the machine when it requires it. So this is the number. Uh, let me get it properly. So you are going to start from this side, the 94. 9403 side then you continue to the f side then you come down to this side then you continue some machines provide the boxes for you like this like a box box i'll show you how the hotel does it but this one is a little bit different so you just continue to type from there so that's it from left to right and you just continue and you put input everything so let's go and plug one and let's try one and see whether it's going to work so from there so you can see that we have so this is the instructions caution when replacing an injector marked with a compensation code it is necessary to register the id code printed on the upper part and this that's this side that's this side that's the code upper part of the injector with a genuine oem or then so they so last time they bought some injectors we tried to code them it didn't go through i think because they were no oem that's why it didn't go so this morning we have a denso set and we'll be doing it so let's go so i will do the red on screen record so that i will add it to the video when i'm editing it. so this is the recording from the screen this machine is actually amazing so we we'll go to auto vim to decode the car to show this matrix kind of uh, scan you see what is going on here then everything will be displayed to you then you just go ahead to the health side of it this is how it works this machine is actually amazing for free subscription it, it, it does a lot there are few downsides of it but for now let's stick to the injector code inside so I'll first of all I have to just scan my car like as usual to see if there's some codes know the meter we have one code there that's for the full information system we drop the tank and we did some uh, cleaning in the tank i told you the floor was contaminated so that code is still there that's the full information that's the full gear system so right now we are going to do the injector id writing you can see we have two sections here injector id writing exchanging injector and injector id writing exchanging ecu so we are going to do we are not changing ECU, we are changing the injector. So we will choose the number one, then you plug one of the injector. It's already plugged, the injector is already plugged. So we we'll go ahead to put the ID I showed you earlier on. We will go ahead to put it in. So that ID will fill it here. And that's this one. This one is for the new injectors. So I'm just filling in the ID. After that, we're supposed to proceed and if it is successful we continue with the rest of the injectors to fix, to fix it and if it is not successful we will not bother ourselves to fix the rest of the injector even if it's not successful i have to do it several times even try to use different machines to see sometimes you have some machine that doesn't work on some 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 uh some products and sometimes the, the machine doesn't work on some cars but i believe this certainly will work because i've used it to do some before but i'm just making this video so that I can know that that machine can do this, this kind of job. So the ID is done. You have to cross check and see if everything is okay. For uh, 9403, and we have F8, FB, F3, FF, 01, F, F. Okay. 
and we have zero f04 everything is looking good 64 is the last one yes you see now it's showing me error which means there's something wrong with this or i didn't put it well so i have to do it again just to make sure that i'm not get i'm not inputting the wrong injector code Mm -hmm, that's it 9403 F8 FB F8 FB mm, that's also correct uh, clean that let's go to F3 F3 FF 01 FF yeah that one is done 0 F 04 that's also okay 0904 just want to make sure that everything i'm putting is very correct like the exact number on the injector when you put the wrong one it's going to fail on 64 now it's still selling me that it's l uh, at this point i don't know how can the denso injector be failing sorry for the noise at the background the workshop is really busy today and we have a lot of cars in a lot of work is going on there sorry for the noise but this injector not picking i'm really surprised um let's try something let's try something different let's try something different are oh, the injectors there's a difference in the injectors or what okay before that so i cannot conclude i have to go and put one of the old ids let me just input one of the old ids and see whether this is going to be successful if it's successful, maybe there's something wrong with the injectors. Uh, the injectors are not actually genuine. If they're not genuine, the code will not pick. And if they are not for the car, maybe the wrong part for the correct car. Am I saying this correct? The wrong part for the car, it will also not pick. Okay, yes. I want to perform this machine again, yes. Okay, let me get the uh the old one one of the old ones ready so that i'll take a picture of the id you will try to input it and see if it's going to pick if it picks then we know that we have the wrong injectors and if it doesn't then we know that the machine cannot do the work but i've used it to do the way this kind of work before so i'm very sure that this machine is capable of doing that work so i have the old one I've already prepared everything, cycled the queue a couple of times. Then let's input this ID and let's see what happens. So this is the ID for one of my old injectors, the original ones. The 8107FD05-0100-014-0. So let's input it and let's see. Yeah, that's the fair part of it. The second part two, that's it. The third part is zero one zero two. Zero one zero two. Okay. Third one is zero one zero two. Zero one zero four. Zero five zero six. Zero six. Okay. Zero 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 zero. Okay. Then we have seventy eight. 78 let's try it and see you see this one have succeeded which means the injector is either it's wrong for the car or the injectors are packaged then so and they are not genuine hmm you can see this one have succeeded which means this machine have the capabilities of programming the injector the injector is not for the car or they are not genuine Wow, 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 wow. Mm, this is not looking nice, which means you have to return the injectors back. Maybe wait for another one, two, three days to get different set of injectors. And this is the second batch. The second batch. The first one was not denso. That one was totally a different brand. It, I think it was made in Thailand or something like that. That was something different. Uh, I have to take a closer look at the injectors again and let's see if 
if you can see anything if you can spot any differences okay before that let's try it once more let's try it once more let's try it again and let's see if it's going to pay just inputting one of the new ids that's the new id just inputting one of the new injectors id let's see what it's going to take since you have confirmed that one is successful already if it doesn't prick then we will have to take a closer look at this injector that's done yeah what is for there let's see whether it's going to pick mm, still it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't pick wow 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 so at this point there's nothing we can really do about this and you don't want to fix this in the test without coding them if the machine is not able to code it and you fix it and later on you have to code it which means you have to disassemble the car then remove them back and these are new injectors too they might not take so you can see this is the original ids stored in the ecu and whenever you change it you change the injectors you want to change these ids in the ecu and you cannot fix these injectors too and return them back these are brand new injectors when you so fix them return one of the new one again so let's try it again so let me go and cycle the key and let's see whether this time it will work if it doesn't work then the just injectors are not correct for the car so just off the key on it again cycle it a couple of times so that the system will know that we're about to do something so let's go back and let's try the coding again so i'll be showing you the screen once again and let's continue from there and the car again because we have unplugged the injectors and program i thought we might have set some code but actually i didn't see anything i don't know whether it's the car that is not very smart because we unplug the injectors then plug them back unplug and plug them back so let's do the injector idea again i just don't want to give up on this i just want to make sure that it's the injector because where it's coming from is very far we have to be sure that it's the injector that's not correct for the car so these are my old ids that i'm still showing that's the 78 for the number one which we programmed and it was successful that's one of the old ones and that's actually the number one injector from home so it doesn't want to work so let's take a closer look at the injectors since there's a little bit of difference with my injectors so this is my old injector then so it is 03d61132 and this is the new one they just brought is 07h00255 this is totally different thing so let me try and put the old one back let's see whether it will be able to take the old injector number okay so i'm going to input this number into the machine so let's do that so unfortunately the injectors didn't work we have to return them back to the supplier then we'll get different one when we get them and uh, i think there should be a part two for for this car so that we can actually get these injectors coded then we start this car so the car is still in the shop it's in the garage then when we get the injectors i will give you the update on it this is the car repair hub and don't forget to hit the subscription button